brings me to my next question. It's a lot of people will say, well, these these open air preachers, they just pick out women and just randomly. I mean, just there's a young lady walking down the street, minding her own business, and you say, hey, you, you know, you're a whore. You know, they say that kind of stuff about open air preachers. Of course, now the word whore and whoremonger are biblical terms, but they also accuse you guys of using unbiblical words and just out of the blue for no reason, just randomly calling them this and calling them that. I've never seen you do that. And so, you know, when I when I hear people talk about these sort of things, uh, it kind of bothers me. Now, is it true? Do you guys really just randomly pick out people and just call them blatant names like that? And I also heard about an incident, I guess, here at USF that uh, a girl's boyfriend attacked you because you supposedly just out of the blue called her a whore. Is that true? And, and explain that incident and what happened there. Okay. You want you want me to talk about the, that incident first? and then the, Maybe or, so. That would be fine. Yeah, yeah go ahead and talk about that incident, incident. USF, yeah. Okay. Well, I started preaching at USF there, and I, I had just gotten started. I started getting a few people. Now, at USF, there's, there's tables that you can sit on. Okay. And so... A uh, young guy sat there and he was heckling me and you know bending over and and I just ignored him. And then he sat down and was listening. And a few minutes later, uh, his girlfriend came and sat on his lap. And so, so I said, uh, I said, you two aren't premarital kissing on the lips, are you? Right. And so you know everybody thought that was kind of funny or whatever. And so I I went on and I explained that you know premarital kissing on the lips leads to premarital sex and. And oh, uh, when I when I asked them that, they went on to say that they were doing a lot more than having the premarital see. kissing on the lips. They told us that they were having premarital sex. I see. And so I explained the verse. You know, uh, I I said, well, you know, if a guy's having, not directly to them, but to the everybody listening collectively. Yes, a man that's doing that is defined by God as a whoremonger. A whoremonger is the same thing as a fornicator. 1 Corinthians 6, 9, 10 says, Fornicators will not inherit the kingdom of God. All right. Ephesians 5, 5 says, For this you know that no whoremonger, nor unclean person, nor covetous man, which is an idolater, has any inheritance in the kingdom of Christ and of God. Hebrews 13, 4 says, Marriage is honorable and all in the bed undefiled, but whoremongers and adulterers God will judge. And so I, I gave him a little uh, sermon similar to that. Right. And so she stood up and she said, so does that mean that all the girls on this campus are sorority s, like I am? Yeah. Now I don't ever use that word, the the the, 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 the s word. I don't yeah. I don't I don't even feel comfortable using it. Uh, and so when she said that, I said, well, not not all the girls out here are, but most of them are, and because, and so at that point, uh, her boyfriend came running over there before I could even finish and grab my shirt like this and you know so, so by admission she called herself that right and I, I I repeated what she, what she called herself I said well not all the girls out here are that but I said but but most of them are now most see here's another thing I want to get now we're getting into the other part of this question okay uh, people say you're calling all these girls out here whores now most means 51 percent or better okay now I've done this over and over and over again I've talked you know we've talked to you know hundreds maybe thousands of students the majority of them are not virgins the majority of them 51 percent or better they are involved in premarital sex if they're I not see. involved in premarital sex they're involved in the big M and other right, things right. and if they are and according to the Bible they're an adulterer at heart. That's right. And so, so uh, you know, we we just so we don't ever go out there and, and and randomly call people names. Say, you know, girl walking by. Now we do describe. You know, Proverbs talks about uh, the attire of a harlot. Right. And we talk about the attire of a harlot. Sure. A, a woman that's dressing in a way to make men lust after her uh, has got a wicked heart. Yeah. And she's dressing like a harlot and so we describe you know the types of dress right uh, 
and we'll say any girl that's having premarital sex, according to the Bible, would be a W-H-O-R-E. Well, we preach that from the pulpit, brother. Yeah. I mean, much more out there. You know, we preach that in the church. Yeah. Well, there shouldn't be any of that. Much more out there where there it's rampant. So I, I see what you're saying. Now, sometimes I, on purpose I spell it out because uh, sometimes students, most students don't read their Bible at all. They don't know that that word's in the Bible. You know, Proverbs 23, 27 says a whore is a deep ditch. I the Revelation it. talks about the great whore. Right. So it's a biblical word. But I spell it out because they sometimes they think we're cussing. Yeah. Oh, I see. Yeah. Yeah. And so, uh, but you know, any girl that's involved in premarital sex is a whore. Any guy that's having sex outside of marriage is a whoremonger. Yeah. And these verses say this. And so what these guys, they'll be like, well, that's every girl I know. Oh, you're calling every girl out here a whore. And so, and now here's another thing that happened one time. I had just started preaching at University of Central Florida. There's nobody around, just a few people walking by. And so I started preaching or whatever, and quoting some of those verses on, you know, whore mongers and worn hair, you know, stuff like that. And so a few days later, this girl comes up to me and says, "The other day, I was walking by and you called me a whore." <laughs> I didn't even. <laughs> she didn't look familiar to me at all. Right. And so I, I said, "What are you talking about? I didn't ever call you a whore." And she goes, she goes "Yeah, the other day you were over here preaching about, you know, any girls that are doing this are whores." And there was only three people walking by, and I was the only girl. <laughs> wow. And so she thought I was talking about her, and I oh, wasn't. Right. So, but one of the reasons why you've never seen me do that is because I've never done that. I see. Never done that, and. I never will do that. Right. 